Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokendra Kumar, and today we will discuss the topic which is smooth endoplasmic reticulum. In my previous video, I have discussed about the endoplasmic reticulum in general. In this video, we will discuss the smooth endoplasmic reticulum in detail. S E R, that is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So, where this particular organelle is present more. So that is the first question. It is present more in case of kidney tubules. One example. Second, skeletal muscles. And third, steroid producing glands where you are producing a lot of hormones, a lot of steroids. In that particular place, you'll have a lot of, lot of smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And what is the structure of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum? We have already discussed the structure. It's quite different than the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The difference lies not only in the ribosomes. So it is slightly different. It's more sac-like tubular structure. As you can see here, I'm making a lot of tubules and they are curved. It becomes more three-dimensional. But it is hard for me to actually show you how it will be a three-dimensional. But... I hope you can imagine your uh, structure, right? So this is the example, schematic example of the smooth and endoplasmic reticulum. This is how it looks like. No ribosomes. That is why it is known as smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Now let's discuss some of the important functions of smooth endoplasmic reticulum. I have already mentioned the cell types where this particular organelle is, is present in high amount. First, function is to produce steroid hormones. So, steroid hormone synthesis is the major function of this organelle. That is why it is present in the endocrine cells of adrenal cortex. So, this is one important point, point you should remember. Second, where a lot of metabolic activity is happening, for example, in case of liver, you have a lot of detoxification of various drugs, various molecules like ethanol is happening, many organic compounds, they are being detoxified in that case you'll have a lot of smooth endoplasmic reticulum present so detoxification in liver we have many organic compounds they are being processed that is why i'm making this diagram of liver so you can you can remember that in case of the liver cells you have a lot of smooth endoplasmic reticulum the function of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum will be to convert the toxic compounds into the non-toxic metabolites. Next, the example is ethanol. Since ethanol is being consumed by many people and it can induce a lot of bad effect on our body, that's why it needs the processing and then you have a lot of oxygen transferring enzymes present in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. They are also known as oxygenases. And because of these, you are going to convert these toxic compounds into the non-toxic metabolites. Now, oxygenase, the important function of this oxygenase or the important characteristic of this uh, enzyme is the lack of specificity so that they can work on many hydrophobic compounds and most of these hydrophobic compounds they are compounds they are toxic so they convert these hydrophobic compounds into hydrophilic compounds and those hydrophilic compounds they are non-toxic so this was the brief um, the topic that i want to a discuss about the smooth endoplasmic reticulum where we have discussed what are the different cell types what is the structure of endoplasmic reticulum especially the smooth one what is the function especially we have discussed the steroid hormone synthesis and then we have discussed the detoxification in the liver we have also understood the concept of oxygenases in this particular video so i hope that now you are more comfortable with the topic which is smooth endoplasmic reticulum if you are interested in watching more videos like that so please visit the channel and see those videos if you like those videos then please hit the like button all right thank you and take care